Right. Well, this is a big product for us, so no. that's why it's the sole. Some weeks part, we have fun, week. but you know what? It's it's a good product. You know, if we're gonna do, you can do one product. Yeah. Um, well, last week we had a bunch. Some weeks we have a bunch. Of them. It's okay. It's okay. It'll auger. It'll auger. But now with the RP2040, I realized I hadn't made this version. I thought I did. Because um, we have a bunch of those, the bones boards, like, you know, it's the same stuff on the left. Um, and then um, the thing on the right changes. So we have a one with like a LoRa module. We have a version with a USB host, one with DVI. Now everyone with a micro SD card um, connected up for SPI or SDIO. It's great for reading or writing data from any micro SD card. You still got all the great stuff of all of our other RP2040 Bones board, USB type C on the left, uh, red LED for blinking, battery charging with built-in uh, LiPo battery charger and automatic you know, switch over, eight megabytes of flash, um, memory boot and reset button, RP2040 chip with all the crystals and passives, STEM QT for connecting sensors, OLEDs, encoders and more. And of course, um, micro SD card with the car detect pin, so you can detect when somebody's plugged something in. And uh, it's on the second SPI port, so you don't have to share the main port. You can have a, a separate SPI interface just for uh, the micro SD. They're in stock now. A great update from the Feather M0, to be honest. A lot of people are like, uh, you know, what what's the next step up? This is gonna be less expensive and more powerful than the Feather M0. Uh, so slowly phasing out the SAMD21, trying to push people more to the RP2040. That is new products. Yay! New, 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 new.